Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Emmanuel Lasca and Hermann Helms. This game was played in New York in 1894. Emmanuel Lasca had white pieces and he started with e4. Hermann Helms played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Spanish opening. d6, and now d4, threatening d5, bishop to d7 and pinning. d takes on e5, d takes on e5, knight to c3, bishop to d6, more protection to the pawn on e5, but this allows bishop to g5 attacking the queen. That went g to e7. Knight to d5, pressure is on the knight on e7. f6, defending and attacking. White to move. What is the best square for the bishop? Is it h4, e3 or some other square? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Emmanuel Lasca sacrifice the bishop on f6 for two pawns plus the attack on the black king. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes pawn on f6. Check. Black to move. What is the best square for black king? Is it f8 or f7? King to f7 was played. Perhaps Hermann Helms was worried if he plays king to f8 then queen to d2, intending queen to h6, check. Perhaps. So in the game, he played king to f7, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Not every move is good for white. The best move is knight takes bishop on d7, not wasting any time. If something like knight to h5, that would give black just enough time to organize the defense with queen to g8. So we have knight takes bishop, black to move. Black has a problem. Instead of queen takes knight, Hermann Helms played knight to g6. What was he worried about? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Then knight takes pawn on e5, check, forking the king and the queen. If knight takes knight, bishop takes queen. If bishop takes knight, then queen takes queen. So, Hermann Helms played knight to g6. Queen to d5, check. King to e7, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Emmanuel Lasca played the best move. Knight to c5, saving the knight. White is two pawns up now. But Hermann Helms strikes back with knight to f4, attacking the queen. White to move. How should white continue? What would you do? If something like queen to c4, this is not a bad move. But then, perhaps knight takes on g2, check could be played, or maybe bishop takes knight on c5. Emmanuel Lasca did not move his queen. He attacked black queen. Knight takes pawn on b7. Black to move. Queen to b8 was played. If knight takes on d5, knight takes on d8, rook takes knight, bishop takes knight on c6, and white is three pawns up. That is why Hermann Helms played queen to b8. Queen takes knight on c6, knight takes pawn on g2, check, king to f1 attacking the knight. Knight to f4, queen to d7 check, king to f6, white to move, white.
play the move and Blake resigned. What is the move? What would you do? Emmanuel Laska played Rook to G1. Blake resigned. One threat is Queen to G7 check. Let's play a few more moves. If Black continued with, let's say, Knight to E6 defending G7 square, then Knight takes Bishop on D6, C takes on D6, Rook to G5 intending Rook to F5, Queen to E8, Queen takes Bishop doesn't work because then Queen takes a Queen. Perhaps the best move is Queen to E8 defending F7 square. And let's take it back. If knight takes rook on g5, then one line goes like this. Queen to f5 check, king to g7, queen takes knight check, king to f7, knight takes pawn on e5 check, d takes on e5, bishop to c4 check, king to e8, queen to h5 check, king to d7, Rook to d1 check, king to c8, bishop to a6 check, king to c7, queen takes pawn on e5 check, king to c6, queen to d5 check, king to b6, queen to b5 check, king to c7, queen to c5 check. Mate, and let's go back to our main line, queen to e8, then Rook to f5 check, king to g6, queen to b7 discovered attack on the queen, queen to g8 still defending f7 square, queen to e7 threatening queen to f6 check mate is something like knight to d4, fork in two pieces, queen to f6 check mate, so perhaps black would have to play queen to g7 defending f6 square, then Black loses the knight, check, and after that he loses the queen and the whole house. Check, mate. So, Helms cleverly avoided this torture by resigning at move 18. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.